Good Monday morning. Here we are, the end of October. No, no, not no, the end of no. October. Yeah, end of September, looking into October already. That's the problem with always working a month ahead with cookies. <laughs> Once I'm into a, the next month, I'm like, September's done. <laughs> the end of September, going into October. Hey, Ashley, how are you? Oh man, I can't believe it's, um, yeah, I can't believe October is here or just about. Hello, hello friends. How is everybody doing? How are you doing? Oh, great. Good to see you. Yeah, I, hello. Don't, okay. We are missing one mascot, Sage, but uh, the other yeah. one just joined me here. <laughs> She's she's under the weather like I was uh, all of last week. And I think that uh, that it I, 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 I don't even think I was uh, even a little bit under the weather last Monday. But uh, man, it hit it me gun yet. Yeah, it was pretty awful. Wow. Hi, for so many friends. Yeah. October is a sneaky month. It always is very sneaky. That first of October, <laughs> which it's is my mom's birthday. September, there's so much going on that it just flies by. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a little crazy. Yesterday, I asked the kids about uh, about some things for Halloween that we want to do. And um, uh, also Thanksgiving and what plans are going to be, what we're going to do, where we're going to go. And I think they looked at me like I was crazy because to them, it's like so far off in the distance. And I said, guys, this is going to be on us so fast. We have to be on top of it. Yeah. And then once, yeah. Hey, friends. Oh, um, wow. I really, and, and I saw Tessie, man, you're just going all kinds of cool places. You are, are a traveling woman right now, huh? What a nice time of year to travel. That's awesome. Next year, Liz, we're on it. <laughs> Once our baby is graduated from high school, we're, we're hitting the road during the school year. Yes. I can't <laughs> wait. Um, I actually had a little little bit of a outing with our youngest last night. We went to a concert that was right here. Um, Kenny Wayne Shepherd and, and Buddy and Guy. It was some amazing music. Pretty wild. <gasps> Speaking of music and setting the mood, um, I, I know you have some. Oh yeah, right. Well, yes, I, I I don't know how many of you guys are aware of this, but I'm going to share something with you real quick. Um, this is an absolutely incredible playlist that Artie Magoo has, and it is Artie Magoo's Autumn Sounds. So mm -hmm. go to Spotify, check it out. This is... This is so amazing, and I'm not going to play it because uh, it's it's copyrighted music. But these are mm -hmm. some, this is absolutely going to put you in that autumn pumpkin spice apple picking mood. If it if it fails to do that, you let me know, and I'll refund your money from uh, from this one. So, <laughs> well, it's a free playlist. So, um, but this is it, it, this has Nat King Cole, James Taylor, the Head and the Heart, uh, Vince Caraldi, Adrian Leg. Um, it, it is it is absolutely amazing, and this is over uh, almost three hours worth of music. It's two hours forty seven minutes. Um, but check it out. It's it's really an incredible playlist for uh, for the season. It's that's a lot of cookies decorated in that amount of time. Just 
listening to amazing music. Hello. Yeah. You're tired. Of, yeah. And now it's time. You get to do it all. That's so cool. Oh, uh, there you go. Good. I'm so glad. I'm glad you like listening to him. I, I love it. Yeah. And yeah. as much as, as I want to say, these are, these are playlists that, that I have. These are, these are, are Artie's playlists there. Um, I, I will put them together, but this is, these are all tracks that she enjoys and listens to while she's creating and getting into the mood for this uh, I, holiday season. I'd say it's definitely a collaboration. We both are like, Oh, this one needs to be on there. Oh, this one has to be on there. This Everything is handpicked though by you. I'll, I'll throw it. I'll throw in a song I, or two like that October road by James Taylor. Oh, I just, I love that song. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. Oh yeah. It'd be good. Good. <laughs> good morning, Robin. Good. Yeah. Good. Definitely yeah. check it out. Yeah. It's oh, nice. And it is Artie Magoo's make bottom you, sounds. Make you want to put on a sweater, even if the temperature doesn't say you should. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it is. Maybe you guys are nice and nice and autumnal. The first day of autumn was the what Wednesday, I believe. Yeah. It was the past Wednesday. Yeah. Which is funny because I just started a book on the 21st of September, the eve of the equinox of autumn, you know? And it was so funny. I was like, I just started the book. And it was like, there, and it's uh, a discovery of witches. Have you guys seen that show or read this book? I think it's a trilogy. You are in sweater weather for sure. Lucky. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I just started a discovery of witches. So far, so good. Interesting and uh, very timely. Yay, from Kentucky. I love you guys saying where you're from. I love it because it's just like we're from all over. And it's so fun, isn't it? And built in, including Belize. I mean, what do you know? Yes. <laughs> um, this is the last Monday of showing our current homeworks, and they have been so dang cute. Yes. And this week is, is no exception to that. And some little riffs on the theme again, which uh, which is always fun to see. Yes. Yeah, so here is the homework for uh, for September. This is what we're looking at. A little retro bowling alley set. Yes. And as we get into it, there there's some really creative stuff. And we're going to try to show... Uh, the the photos that were sent into the to the homework group on uh, Facebook, the the Maguyu student body. But also, we're going to attempt a couple of new things today. So uh, first, let's start showing our photos. Mm -hmm. This is uh, from Danielle Bullerjack. Oh, Danielle, I love this morning set. Letters are so hard for me. Thanks for making me practice them. Yeah, they look great. And those stars, that's too cute. <laughs> I love it. This is Carolyn Buckner, and Carolyn said, stayed on the lane and didn't foul out with this month's homework. I love bowling. I think I was eight or 10 when my parents started uh, uh, including me in their bowling adventures. I improved my math skills, keeping score for their team in the church bowling league. As an adult, I scored my three highest games while seven months pregnant. Uh, <laughs> memories. <laughs> that's so cute maybe having a bowling ball in your stomach helped the balance you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then this is debbie semmel and oh, cute. debbie said uh magoo you september class i used colors i had laying around and okay. could not find my shirt cutter or a starburst looking stencil so uh so that was done by hand smart yeah that's cute yes here's judy brown Great. Oh, so cute. Look at those colors. I love those colors. Yes. And Judy said, uh, uh, Artie, Artie Magoo, I used royal icing that I had for a while in the freezer. Fun set. It made me uh, it made me try writing on cookies. Hard to do. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get the consistency right. It's so interesting that that a few people have said that uh, that basically you, you made them go, go into a, an area that they're uncomfortable with. Yeah. Lettering is is rarely a favorite but that looks great <laughs> i love how all these colors look so good together i have you know it's fun and it is a fun one to use up icing you have already because bowling sign can be any color yeah it could be anything it really could yeah. this is marcy barnes and marcy 
Marcy said, I don't usually post because I'm not where I want to be yet. I've been decorating for uh, uh, cookie decorating for almost a year. So hopefully I'll continue to improve. So good. This makes this like has a taste, you know, these colors together makes me think of a uh, watermelon uh, now and later. Oh. Isn't oh, that like right, right now there looking at those such cute colors. Great and job. Marcy, you're, you're doing absolutely great. Yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, please continue to post, continue to to share. This is this is definitely the group for it. And uh, you're going you'll definitely improve. You have a passion for it and you're you're already growing by sh now sharing your work. This is great. Yeah, and I love seeing sometimes people will post like, "Hey, when I started, here was the cookies I was decorating and then after, you know, pushing myself and trying um kind of how they'd grown. It's quite a journey. It's amazing to see. It's cool. All right, and now this is Mary Jean Mattingly. So good. Mary Jean said, I had a strikingly good time making these cookies. Thanks for the wonderful class, Artie Magoo. From the time I saw the sneak peek of these, I know I wanted to try my hand at a 3D cookie, and I was mm. hoping it wouldn't fall into the gutter. <laughs> I know I say it every time, but these were my favorite set to make. <laughs> And that is a cute little starburst back there, too. I love the different stencils used. There, there's so many that work, you know? Yeah. That's fun to see. And this is Melanie Talkington. And she said, this set from Artie Magoo was not a full strike, but it wasn't a gutter ball either. <laughs> that, is a, that is a complete strike right there. And you have a, a nice long name to fit up there. Look how tiny that little embroidery is. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So cute. next up is Nikki Hurt. Love that blue. Do you love that? Yeah, I I do love the uh, the the colors of of the the bowl sign too. Yeah. Yeah. And so this cute. is Stacy Welsh Andrade. <laughs> And we're going to show hers again in a second. Um, but she said, "Time to go bowling for apples with this month's Maguyu homework." What in the world is that? Just so great. Cute? Yeah. So what great. a cute spin. Yes. Mm. And then this is Nancy Shemp. Oh, just the end. That's smart. That's really cute. Mm -hmm. the, the little, what's that called? Why can't I think of that? The, the oh, uh, monogram. Uh, monogram. The I was going to say mammogram. That's not. That's oh. not. That's not the same. <laughs> same place, different. Yeah, different word. Different word. thing. <laughs> different things. Sorry, sorry. That is so cute. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then uh, let's see here. Um, oh yeah. Um, right. We need to get to Massachusetts one of these one of these autumns. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, me oh, too. Yeah. That's what it reminded me of too. Laverne and Shirley, right? That little. <laughs> All right. And now um, we also have a couple of. And remember. We have lots of homework because it's not just the month that we're showing. You can also show uh, or share your your homework for uh, for the Halloween party. So this is Wendy Carter. Oh, how cute. I love it with the roses. That's fun. And then this is Becky Norton. And mm -hmm. Becky said, I know I like the patches. This is extra, extra Halloween fun post. So here's this one. And then this is another one for Becky again. Oh, so my gosh. I haven't seen that set for a long time. That is fun. That was creepy. <laughs> yeah. So, so again, you have this month's homework to do, but then you also have the next two months, so September and October, to get in any of those homeworks from the, uh, from the Halloween party. So if you're if you're gonna do the Halloween party, go right right ahead and jump in, so you can get a couple of extra homeworks in this month. Yeah, if you don't know what the Halloween party is, it's it's a collection of um, two past Magoo Yous. So you, as you saw, it was that vintage cat set with the witch's legs, super fun set. And then we're going way back, I think to 2015 Halloween um, with the mummy and the. A creepy little cameo and um so that one's really fun too so those are just a little 
a little Halloween party package. You have access to it already if you are a Magoo You subscriber member. Um, but if you're not, it's a great little party to get you in the Halloween spirit. There's brush lettering uh, templates, little printable guides that help you te teach you to do brush lettering. And um, some smart cookies. Oh, that lesson so fun. Yeah, there's the... What year was that from? Um, This 15. 15, 15 yeah. And then this one is 20. Yeah, so kind of more recent. Yeah. And then um, a couple smart cookies and an after school. So it's just kind of like a little bundle of past Halloween goodies. And yeah, again, if you're a Magoo you subscriber, subscriber um, you can just hit the little index and it'll take you to all those little parts. So you don't need to get the package, but if um, you're not a Magoo Yoop subscriber, all you need to do is purchase a little bundle and there's two options. Um, yeah, so this is where you go if you're a, a member. Or you can just hit the, uh, the the little orange button right here and all members will go directly to the party. Cool. And if you're and not- And then can you show the two options for the, yes. the party? So in the shop, um, in the shop right here, this is what uh, the party in the box looks like. And this is the larger package. And this contains um, a couple of cookie cutters, the two um, the two banners, plus the clown slash uh, piping bag cutter. And also the the, uh, the paint palette and the paint brush set. So you get quite a few things with this one. And if you don't, if you are a member but don't have these things just go in the shop and purchase them separately because it's uh it will kind of it'll mess up your your uh your your, your annual or monthly year. subscription so uh just make sure to go in the shop and get them separately it's the same cost and everything it's not like you're getting a, a special deal by getting it in the bundle um and then the smaller bundle is for the it just gives you the set of paint brushes so and for those of you that are uh, that are going to be trying out Magoo for the first time and getting one of these packages, you are getting a phenomenal value because you're actually getting a couple of months worth of Magoo uh, Magoo type or Magoo classes for uh, uh, in, included with this package, and you're getting uh, an additional item or two. This is the smaller package; it's only six dollars, and it comes with the brushes. But then you also get the two month access to the two classes. Plus, plus, yeah, all the, yeah, all, the digital all, all the things, all the plus, plus, pluses. Yeah. So that's, and that's a fun way to introduce people to Maguyu. If you have friends be like, oh, you should join the Halloween party or, you know, if, if they're interested or curious, it's a, it's a great way to kind of dip your toe in and see what it's like. Uh, one of the Halloween sets should have been a part of my six makeup homeworks for January. Oh, no, because because those um it, those are those homeworks for the Halloween packages. Those are bonuses for this month, so it, they're at, they're available right now. So we're giving you access to those. So post them, do them, um, and uh, and do it post it just like you would a normal homework, and I'll give you the credit for it in the month that uh, that it was released. So this isn't going to be part of the January makeup stuff. It's just, Correct. it's popping right into this, like almost like extra credit. Category. Exactly. This is extra credit month. Extra credit month. You're at work, no customers all day. Nice. <laughs> oh, awesome. Yeah, that's really fun. Oh, yeah. that's great. I know some people are like, what's it like? Maybe it might not be for me And this. Yeah, this is a great way to be like, oh, that was that was fun or, you know. No. Uh, OK, so the, we did these packages uh, a couple of years ago and the packages are available again. Margo, it's only for new members. Um, if you want the brushes or if you want any of the items, go ahead and grab them. But uh, you can click into the to the to the party and take the classes anytime because you already have an annual membership. Yep, your invite is already, <laughs> it's assumed, I guess. <laughs> Just come to the party. No need to RSVP. <laughs> for That's right. That's for right. Ooh, fun. I can't wait to see you. Now, getting, getting ready for Halloween. Are you guys like feeling it? I am. Absolutely. And now we also have a couple more uh, cookies to show. So first we have the Magoobers Lend a Hand. And um, we're going to start with the Becky Norton show again. So uh, Becky said, uh, shared 
a fun decorate your own cookie set with a little girl going through so much in her young sweet life. Hopefully these cookies bring a smile to her face and she can forget her cares and be a kid for a few hours. My heart is full. And uh, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's, I think that's so great when, when somebody's going through something, it's like cookie decorating just takes you to another, another place, you know, more than anything. Yes. I think when you create something, it definitely does. That's so sweet. Next is Stacy Welsh Andrade, and this is uh, a, a, another MacGoober's Lend a Hand post where she said, this past Saturday, I held a cookie decorating class and all the proceeds went, went to Ruth's house in Haverville, Massachusetts. Ruth's house is a 501c3 and nonprofit thrift store. They offer support to those in need, children, single mothers, veterans, and senior citizens from all over mm -hmm. the Merrimack Valley. Uh, Ruth's house is multifaceted serving clients in multiple ways such as a children's reading program low-cost household goods and job skills training that um, is that's uh, awesome look at those colors how pretty yeah and then we have one more and this is from sandy uh parr and she said my daughter's charter middle school asked families to lend time and talents for six weeks for one and a half hour classes hmm. and teach an elective for sixth to eighth grade students class size is 19 students i'm halfway through three of six classes taught i'm <sighs> donating all the resources so far we tried making fall transfers and let me see here what a project fall transfers outdoor themed fondant scenes and in honor of the upcoming eighth grade outward bound camping trip we made bonfires and campers and tents and look at this the campers and tents look familiar so cute so cute that is so fun wouldn't that be so fun to teach little i mean that is a lot of work yeah that that's just awesome i love it yeah so cool and then um and then in the 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 MacGoober mailbag. Can I say, we did that when I was in elementary school. Mm -hmm. And it was called May Magic. And people would come and, and teach trades and different different things. I still remember it has impacted me my entire life. I took a cartooning class. I took a, you know, like, I took a cupcake decorating class, which is where I learned how to pipe roses. I was like in fourth grade. Wow. That's you so know? cool. Yeah. So, yeah, if you guys ever have the opportunity to do that, that, man that will like really impact those kids forever. When, when I was in school, we, and I'm a couple of years older than you, but not, not, not a lot older than you. I'm, I'm only three years older. <laughs> and, but I, I went to school and we didn't have anything like that. I also went to a Catholic school, but I did have my parents come and, and teach a class to, to all of us when I was in, let's see, I think I was in sixth grade. Um, my dad came and taught all the boys sex ed and my mom went and taught the girls sex ed. It was the most embarrassing class ever. Yeah. Have. That's that. Maybe that's not suggested. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't do that. I'm, I'm not suggesting it as an option for, for these classes. Don't do that. Cause if yeah. you have a chance to help like share a skill like that, it was Really, I still remember those classes so much. And uh, it might seem like, oh, yeah, it was fun and it was crazy. But I, for those kids, they'll remember that, you know. Oh, without a doubt. Yes. Yes. Cool. Yeah. And and, and also uh, all the kids remembered my my dad saying, saying penis to all of us. And I had that that it, it thrown in my face for like the rest of the year. Pretty, so, pretty unforgettable, you know. Yeah, exactly. Unforgettable <laughs> classes taught by parents. So good. Yeah, that's it's pretty. It's an amazing program. Yeah. But I know it's it's talk, it was talk with your your PTA peeps and yeah. Yes, and okay. So now I I do have something else that I wanted to show, and these uh, this is. This is along the homework lines again. So let's go ahead and jump in more into homework because I want to try to share. Here we go. This is Instagram. So um, again, we we saw um, we saw Marilyn's homework set uh, uh, also turned in through Facebook, but we also have a few more. So here we go. Here's Look at this one. those colors. 
Do you see that the autumnal? I, I love those. And so, okay, so yeah, so that one was we did get to see that one on yep. Facebook, which I yeah. Yes. The only problem with with Instagram is it's smaller, but yes, it is. Yes, it is. It but I can't be able to share though from Instagram too, because yeah, show little. Oh, look at that! Mm -hmm. Wow, that is fun. That's a that's a great one. And then Mary Jean, we saw hers earlier mm -hmm. as well. And uh, Wendy right. Carter as well. Love it, Becky. There's Joe's Cookie Company. Yeah, we saw that one, uh, I think, last week. So yeah, cute. Yeah, last week. Yeah, love that. And there's the other Becky one. Jane's, and we saw this one last week as well. So so I I am able to show some of these. Uh, I, I like oh. the, the, the cookie name. So good. I know. <laughs> Very nice. So good. Look at this. This is great, you guys. Yeah, I, I love, love seeing it. Shared in, in all those places. Yes. And um, I can also show uh, one more place where you can share uh, your cookies. And that is going to be, here we go. Right here on TikTok. Check that out. On TikTok. So TikToks are, I mean, I guess it could be pictures on TikTok too, but typically it's uh, videos, yeah? Yes. Yes. And huh. so it, it, it's, it's really great. This one, this, ah, come on. There we go. See now if I click on it, then it makes it super tiny, <laughs> but, but the other way you could, you could actually see it and it's all good. So uh, that's yeah. I, I just love this set. So great. Yeah. Stacey, that, that's actually where I saw the set first was Sage showed me. She showed me on TikTok. Oh, really? Look at these. And I was like, Oh, that was just the cutest. So good. So cute. So yeah, so so you share share your your work, share it on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok. Um, if I don't show it here, and you want to make sure that you get credit for your homework, just make sure you email me, and then I'll make sure that that you definitely have your credit and that it's uh, that it's all there. So um, absolutely fantastic, good job, guys. Yeah, so great, love it, love it. Ah, that's great. <laughs> that's great. Bad influence. <laughs> Cat. Oh, so fun. That sounds amazing. Our our, our little guy has really gotten into fishing. So that's <laughs> oh yes. Yes. Oh yeah, June Lake. Why do you keep meowing at me? What's up? <laughs> you hear a little <laughs> she's a funny. Yes. She's like, where's Sage? That's what she's asking. Now, I know that you have you have cookies from this or from next month that you're going to share a sneak peek of, but you also have an advanced class coming up in just two weeks. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be I'm so fun. excited for it. It's a full day, and then afterward, we're gonna go have have dinner, and it's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, I'm I can't believe it's here. Like this is wild. I'm super excited. <sighs> Playing uh cookies and Halloween. I mean, it doesn't it does not get better than that. It doesn't. I know that you have been in the the creative cave for the last last little while putting together little things for this class. And yeah. one one of the one of the 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 things the bat is just Oh yeah, I'm sitting right here. Actually, that, Funny. Thing, that thing is so. Oh, th there it is. Look at that. It's like copper with the. With, it's such a little evil face. I love that bat. Yeah, he's fun. He's really funny. You know what shape it is? Do, do, do. <laughs> <laughs> My cake stand. Oh, get off of the keyboard, kitten. <laughs> She's on the keys. That's like, <laughs> that's old tone. She's like right. Here, can you? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so he's fun. Um, so that's gonna be there, but um, also, so that's uh, yeah, I, was uh, to say, I do, I know things, things come up, man. Yeah, this is gonna be an, an incredible class, it really will be. Yeah. And, and again, there is th this is 
Pioneer Day here in Paso Robles as well on the 8th. So <laughs> Yeah, we talked a little bit about that last week. The bean feed will be happening. Right. Um, yeah, so lunch is taken care of. We're going to have a bean feed <laughs> if you want. Um, but it's going to be a great time. Uh, we also have the the little preview which um, of next month. Oh, you ready for this? I don't know. <laughs> Are they all ready for this? We're, we talked about it a little bit Um this was an idea. I think it was, who was it? Was it Trish? Was it who? who uh, Trisha? Oh, Tessie definitely wanted, was talking about this. There were, there were a few people that were, that were really pushing for, yeah. for this class. And it was an easy yes, because I was like, oh, that, that would be really fun. So we're going to use these cutters. It's my uh, paper doll set. If you have it, it's great. If you don't, you can kind of hand cut it. I've hand cut this one so many times before I made this into a cutter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, no bean theme. <laughs> yeah, if you have the if you have the paper doll set, yeah, Tessie was was on board for that for sure. Um, we're gonna use just about every kind of not the hat, but uh, these these parts here. There is some hand cutting. It really depends on what um, costume. You're going to go with, but I did trim the head a bit so that it was a shorter hair. I kind of gave him like a little Christopher Robin haircut. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a trim right at the, the neck space, which I'll, I'll give a little, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's pretty much just, you go in there and hack off a little bit of the hair, make it a little, a little more of a page boy. I don't know. <laughs> like the Dutch boy, right? The Dutch boy cut. Yes. But yes. you can really give them any hair. You can do this as a girl also, really, if you wanted to. But uh, it was kind of the fun idea was to do the paper dolls as a boy in a Halloween theme. So that's what I went with. There's a couple outfits. Um, so first I'll show you the little guy. <laughs> He's in his little Halloween undies, I guess. Is that <laughs> Um, but I ended up making what one, two, three, four costumes. I just couldn't, I couldn't stand it. I still have a oh lot of other ideas that I want to see. So you could really just go off book here, which I know you guys are really good at. Um, but as far as the shapes go, um, this one dress here, I ended up adding the legs back on just by cutting the body again. So you can kind of see the seam right there. So taking the the body cutter plus the dress right where that that indent is to create that shape um, and made him a little uh let's see if you can just guess guess who he's dressed up as in this one <laughs> the little hat and a little <laughs> the little outfit it is there's a lot that you can do with this one it's just super yeah. cute so do you want me to show all of them yes or we'll do it one at a time Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. One at a time first. So here we have him as the bard. I mean, this is the. Oh. <laughs> some, some appropriate music to go with. Yeah. Which really makes me want to dress up as Shakespeare because how fun would that be? <laughs> so we have a little, little Shakespeare costume. This one's super easy to guess, of course. Uh, <laughs> we have the clown, which is in honor of Mr. John. He was a clown for how many years? Oh, I was a clown like six years in a row. My grandmother made me this little green clown <laughs> costume, and I just couldn't get away from it. It was it, it was super cute, and it was grandma made, so I wore it all the time. Yeah, that's cute. And a clown outfit you wear for a, day, a long while. Oh, that's so cute. Totally. A little Ren Fair. Um, here, of course. So this is using that longer dress cutter here. He's a little failer. <laughs> 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 so we end up using those little ruffles kind of edges to uh, to give him a little little pockets there instead. But it, it, it surprised me how well it worked for these different more, you know, these different outfits. Um, oh, look at the little outfit. 
tipsy? Are you in the way? I don't know. I can't. you're you're just standing in the way. Okay. No, you're good. Okay. She's in my way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. And this reminds me of my grandpa. So this is uh <laughs> this is But yeah, that's with um not changing the shapes much. It's it's right out of the that those in particular are right out of the right out of the cutter. Just cutting. So that is just the body with the head cut off for most of those outfits. Though so the cowboy and the um the clown. That's this cutter with the I used the top of the head just to cut the little the little head off the top. So uh yeah, pretty, pretty funny. Oh, that's great. Oh, and can you imagine? I mean, I don't want to like give too many ideas because I know you guys will be like your your imaginations will take you other places, but I could just see so many other little outfits, you know? Mm -hmm. Even without trimming the head trimming the head just a little bit differently, it could be like a hooded outfit. Maybe adding some little horns, maybe a little, a little tail. <laughs> so I think there's so many, so many different places uh, to, to little costumes for him to dress up like. So I'm excited to see what you guys do with it. I did want to say um, I would really highly suggest doing it in chocolate dough because I feel like it gives such a nice outline to to everything, the, the outfits and to his body. It's almost like a nice little sketched outline it really defines uh, the edges in a really nice way if you do it on a regular cookie um you might want to just like paint a line around them a little bit more but uh it really does a nice job of giving it that little illustrated look yay i'm so glad you like them there it was really it's like you're sitting there playing dolls it's so fun yeah you guys are gonna do amazing and exactly you can never go wrong with chocolate <laughs> so true yes yeah i know i i think this can go all kinds of places you no. know you guys you guys started it <laughs> and then you no. take it to places i didn't even imagine so <laughs> and when i i wanted to see like one of the the old school like trash bag uh halloween <laughs> costumes with the the very hard plastic mask that got really wet inside and would like scratch the face and then it that like plasticky sheet that would be uh, that, that you'd put on on the front like i had an incredible hulk one like that and i think i had a snoopy uh costume that was that was like that that, that was my like recipe for heat stroke yeah. What this trash bag, <laughs> this plastic mask. Exactly. You can't really see through. You have no. <laughs> yeah, you have no real vision. That's right. You you couldn't even see through it. Go out in the dark in this. Um, into where cars are driving around, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The spicy chocolate. And no, this is Liz's. This is uh, Artie Magoo's recipe. This is the chocolate chipotle, which is just to die for. You know, this one, I didn't put Chipotle in. You know, okay, I did something different with this one. Right. So it is my, I did take the base of the the spicy chocolate Chipotle recipe. But um, because I was going to make part of the dough for a a child uh, child's birthday this weekend that I made, I was like, he might not like the spicy. I wasn't sure. So what I did instead was I added a little bit of uh, pudding mix, chocolate pudding mix to the dough. Nice. It's so good. I, I, I use Hershey special dark pudding in it, just a quarter of a cup in it. And uh, it made it real dark, which I was like, I don't know if the kid would like the dark chocolate either, but um, I did. <laughs> but then with the added with the icing, mm -hmm. I used the white chocolate um, more than cake powdered fl flavoring. And that was a nice sweet to, to go with the, so it really balanced it really out. Really rich. Really good. I had Bailey try some and she's like, oh, oh, she's like, that's good. So that was a real tasty. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, good. Isn't it cute? I, I did love that one too. And yes, I I definitely dating myself with uh, <laughs> with that with that costume. My mom always made all of our uh, all of our costumes. And uh, there was one year though that um, I think with the youngest, with six kids, with the youngest, she kind of, was like, you know what? And we went with with Doug. He got one of those little trash bag costumes. Yeah. Because she's like, ah, you know. Uh. And it was a Monchichi. It was a Monchichi one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I think they stopped making those like 
in the mid eighties, maybe. Yeah. When like kids 80s, were like hit by cars 80s. and like having heat stroke, probably. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> um, the spicy chocolate. Heck yes. Um, it is called a uh, chocolate. You could probably pull it up right now. Yeah, chocolate here. Chipotle rollout. It's been up there, man. What year was that? This is, this is history here, but it is, it is a level. If you like spice, um, it is a lovely combination of like just the dark chocolate with the with the chipotle, like the little smoky. It's not like super spicy, but a word of warning, the longer it like is in the refrigerator, it will get more and more spicy. Um, so just scroll down on the main the main website and it's right there. Chocolate chipotle. That's that's the one. And it's really easy to adapt to. Sometimes I'll go like extra dark plus hazelnut, which is a delightful combination too. I don't think all the recipes are, are there either. There's um there's other flavors too, but um yeah. Yeah, this is this is the the chocolate chipotle. It holds its shape great. It tastes great. It's a it's a really different and fun one, especially for Halloween. Because if you don't like spicy, guess what? That's a trick. You know, trick huh. or treat. If you don't like the spicy, it might be a little a little surprise. <laughs> Um, you do a graham cracker cookie on the bottom with a marshmallow flavor. Yeah, that, that would be amazing. A little s'more. That sounds really good. I think I did that for the camping, um, Maguyu one. I remember chocolate with yes. the, the s'more. That was a, yeah, right. the toasted marshmallow with the, the powdered. That is a good one. Oh, but yeah. I need the graham. Mm -hmm. That would be really, how did you do the graham cracker cookie flavor? Just like. Oh, I bet I bet that that's uh, one of the one of the powder uh, the powder ones as well. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. Um. Yeah. You see. Um. Recipe. Oh, so funnily enough, I didn't take out any of the flour. So for that one, I just did the all regular because I feel like that dough is is a little bit on the softer side, so I figured it wouldn't affect it too much, and it didn't. So I did just a quarter cup of the pudding um, in that, in that recipe. So quarter cup and I did special dark, which you don't, you wouldn't have to do that at all. Tipsy. Um, all right. Yeah. So I don't think you can mess that recipe up. It's just like, I add, sometimes I grind up little chocolate chips in there to make it really fudgy. Like into my little, uh, little, what coffee bean grinder, just put in some chocolate, some dark chocolate chips in there. Grind them up to be smaller and ground cracker flavor drops. That sounds fun. I love graham cracker. Graham crackers and milk. Now I need to have that. Oh, uh, nice. I have a bunch of graham crackers. And and Lila Loa has a graham cracker. So fun. That's cool. Not great for shaping. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Huh. That's so yeah, that's a great idea. To and add, just crush it up and maybe, yeah. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Makes me want to try all kinds of things. <laughs> those that want to see all of the, uh, a sneak peek of all of the set for oh, yeah. October. Here you go. That's it. <laughs> I did make that little mask just using a um, little icing sheet, which it takes really little scissors. I can see it crack too at the bottom, but um, I did do it as a cookie. And you can just keep it. Oh, you can keep it like it was because you can see anything. Now. So um, I did it as a cookie. It's just so it, it's such a height difference that it's kind of weird. But uh, and then you have to repaint his eyes back on there, which is like, OK, that's just another step. But um, so what I'm thinking is um, show that little of that little eye cookie again because mm -hmm. you weren't being you were, you know, other side, other side, other side, move, move it, move it to the to the other side of the screen. Um, you can't, we can't see it. I there you go. on my side. I can't see it now. I can't there see you it. Go. Oh, so we cannot frame it over just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Keep that going. Way. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. I'm right completely there. blind here. Yeah, Whoa. you're right there. That's weird. It shows a totally different part for me. That's wild. Yeah. Um, so there's the little, and I did shave it down to be shorter, but it's just the the icing sheet worked a lot better for that. And that's, you know, just an extra, of course. But um, I don't expect you to have to make all all of those cookies if you don't want to do all of the, the, you know, costumes or if you want to do your own costume. 
I am excited to see, but I'm figuring a paper doll plus, you know, teensy tiny plus a, a costume and a hat will, will cover you as far as like credit, homework, um, homework yeah, homework credit. So the, the paper doll and outfit and a hat, because typically we do, we do three cookies. Um, but of course, I know you guys are going to get earn that extra credit because you guys are fun that way. <laughs> and uh, you could do all of these, of course, or any other ideas you have. I can't wait to see. <laughs> He's going to have options for days to wear yes. on Halloween. And, and He's like me. He's going to have costume Mondays. He'll have options for costume Mondays, which is coming up. Next week. Next week. Week is the first costume Monday of 2022. <gasps> this needs some theme music. Yes. Some Halloween theme music. <laughs> we, we will have some next week. <laughs> right. Um, if you haven't joined us in past years, every Monday I will dress up on the, the lives here on Facebook. It is typically a DIY costume that I've just pulled together that day with things I already have. Every once in a while, it's something a little, a little wackadoo that is outside of that. But um, usually, it's a, it's a DIY thing. And um, just a, a note, you, you guys, you have about uh, what five days left to get the, uh, or four days left to get the Bristles McGoo. Um, all members get that for four dollars uh, this month. Now, do you use the bristles in uh, in the class for in Magoo U for uh, October? October. Let me look. Because I know you use you use it obviously in the lettering technique that you that you show in uh, in the Halloween package mm -hmm. and Halloween uh, party. Mm -hmm. Um, I it's really a lot of uh, detailed brush. You could totally use it to to just paint with. I would just leave it empty. It's a great, it's a great detail brush for a lot of things. So you could use it for it. I tend to use my, uh, my set of paint brushes for this though. Um, so yeah. <laughs> okay. Not specifically, but it definitely could be used. Yeah. Some people really prefer to use it because it, it holds like a pen and it's a lot more comfortable for some people that aren't as used to um, handling a paintbrush, a really small, you know, barrel, the, the barrel of the bristles has a, has a bigger barrel, feels more like a pen, a little more natural for a lot of people. So yeah, it, it can definitely, definitely be helpful. Okay. All right, cool. That's what I wanted to know. All right. And oh. mm, that's a great question right there. I think that was the plan, right? <laughs> yes, it was. Okay. Yes, I, was like, was. I didn't want to say something yeah. that true. And and tell you what, since you guys, since you guys are jumping on here, I'm, I am going to, to, to make that, uh, that sale available later today. So uh, jump back on the website and uh, uh, check the, uh, uh, the, the pricing of the, the paper doll cutters. Paper doll cutters, and I'm checking it out right now. It is right now. Yeah, it's twelve dollars, and those are going to be uh, ten dollars. So there you go. Yeah, it's a one, two, three, four, five um, cutter set. So it has the hat and the shoes that we don't really use, but you could totally put this into your um, your costume. I was thinking of doing little shoes um, for the sailor outfit because at the moment he's just wearing socks with his sailor outfit because he doesn't have a shoe so i need to make little sailor shoes but um yay we love you right back we're so glad you're here um you guys are amazing couldn't do it without you for sure <laughs> absolutely yeah yeah that's a great that was a great thought and just putting it on now when you, you can get it ahead of time and bake your cookies i know you guys are really proactive and, and want to get your baking out of the way, which is super smart. Uh, bake it while you bake it while you got it. Yeah. And how much did you say it was for? 10. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's great. 
yeah, it's not the most fun to hand cut. I mean, you could simplify some things, but uh, it's it's so much easier. I, I seriously made this set like probably three or four times before I'm like, okay, <laughs> this, this is not this is not the most fun thing to hand cut. Oh, uh, guys, you are fantastic. Did we cover everything? Yes, I think we did. And uh, uh, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold on. Hold I'm on. holding. I'm holding. This hold on. Is killing me. Hold on. <laughs> All right. If you go on right now, the the cutter is ten dollars. I just that, changed the price for you. That was worth holding on for. There you go. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, another thing on about this one's cookies, which is awesome. Um, just one color icing, one in a, a piping, and one in a, a flood. So that's nice too. Everything else is painted, which could be a good thing or a bad thing, unless if you're scared of painting, but. It's it's a lot easier than you think. the 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 piping's going to do some uh, some work that would be a little harder to paint. A lot of the things, like to give it some some details, will kind of do the work for you. You can't wait to try the spicy chocolate. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And you didn't eat those cookies. Yeah. There. It's really good. I I am partial, but it is it's one of my favorites. Me and too. the dough. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and by the way. Um, I, I, I had to share to share this because this is actually more from the mailbag than mm. anything, but, uh, Laura Olindi, who is absolutely a sweetheart. She, she said, if you don't have the mix and match dress set yet, you need it. You might not know you know that you do, but you do. I've had it forever and finally remembered to use it. They seem uh, uh, on a smaller size, but they're, but after they're cut together, top and bottom makes the perfect size cookie. And I'm not a fan of huge cookies. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to play with the different combos now. And so she shared this, and she also shared Is that this. the cutest. I uh, I love that dress so much. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, I, just, I love I, it. I loved that one. And let me let me show that. That yeah, one that, the mix and match set oh, is really God. fun to to. So what? And and if you haven't seen that, it has a. Um, let me give you a close up of how that works really quick. Because uh, where are you, dresses? <laughs> okay, so just say you decided. Okay, I'm going for the bell ball gown look. Um, it has this little notch where the two parts meet up, so you don't have to put the cookie dough back together. It's uh, it's open, so it makes an open yeah. shape. So it just has this little connector that keeps the cookie cutter together, but this little open gap where the two meet up. So where the skirt and the bodice meet up. This was a little brainchild I had years ago, and uh, I think it's pretty dang cool. But <laughs> yay, uh, artymagoo.com. Um, it's in the shop, and super super simple. I'm so glad you found me too. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely welcome and 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 have fun with us. This is great. Right. So you see when you cut it, it'll just be that is food coloring. Sorry, that looks really gross when you get food coloring. <laughs> I was airbrushing. <laughs> so it looks like I was working on my car. It's clean. It's just gonna be colorful for a little bit. Uh, um, but yeah, so all the different shapes have that little notch in it so you can fit different bodices to different skirts. And uh yeah, it I mean, I thought it was kind of brilliant that day. Wow. <laughs> so yeah and it, all different styles i think there's several i think there's a smart cookie where i show all these different combinations and different looks yes. and stuff. But again you guys will uh can do all kinds of things you guys are so so creative and i bet that, that little little mexican dress the little beautiful embroidery is so, so cute is that is that not adorable look at here there it is again just gotta share it yeah i super cute Wow, so creative! It just fits perfectly with that yeah. with that look. I love that. And and with the uh, uh, Dia de los Muertos coming up too, the, that that little embroidered look is so cute. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I love that. Love that. So cool. I'm so glad you shared that. Yeah. And I okay. There is one. I'm I'm trying to think if it's a Magoo you. I think it is. It was wedding dresses. I did them all white in different yeah. styles. Yes, and that's I, right. I think it was May of 17 or 18. 
Do you want to look at the index real quick? Um, I, mean, I think for the smart, should we take a, should we take a trip together into a trip. Uh, in a, to check it out? Okay. Let's look at that. All right, here we go. So, um, looking at the website, here we go. Let's go into classes. Right there, Magoo U online classes. And we're just going to keep scrolling until we find it. It'll be right here on the left. That's the Magoo U class. And uh, these are all classes from this year. Oh, my gosh. So much. <laughs> here. Down memory lane. Look at this. Yeah. So that's the last two years. And we're going we're gonna to find this thing. Uh, here we go. Um, it's coming up. I think it was June. Oh, you think it was June? I think it was like May. I thought you did it as a... Yeah. You see, the, and there are a couple of other parties here. Here's another Halloween party. That, that yeah, so you can revisit those too. Yeah. Uh, you have access to all that stuff. Here's... Oh, I love this one. Oh. Lauren, that's so cute. Oh, it's so great. So now we're back to 19. Now we're 18. Okay, 18 oh back. Yeah, look at this. I know it's in here. <laughs> I know. Did I, I know. mention it? 17. There you go. Oh. 17. Oh, was it June? You were right. Oh my gosh. June. June. So that's, yeah, those are three totally different style dresses. Um, those are all white, but you can, man, there's so many things you can do. Like imagine that white dress in yellow. It's completely like a beauty and the beast dress, right? Yes. Um, yes. So there's like the little sleeveless top. There's the, wait, eh. Oh. The long sleeves, there. which um, Georgianne does a really cute, um, what is a pajama dress, I believe, with the long sleeve plus, I think it's the the kind of flowy skirt there and does a, a cute, like a sleepover set. It's really oh, adorable. Um, but see, that's the same top as, as um, Linda's top of the dress there. Mm -hmm. And then the dress, the skirt to the left is how she made her dress. So the bodice of the middle and the skirt to the left is what she used. Oh, that's so cool. Like straight long skirt. And then and then even you can customize it even further by trimming the skirts and even trimming the the tops. Like with a scalloped edge or I mean, yeah. There's all kinds of things you can do. Super fun. But I know there's another smart cookie that shows some other designs too at some point. I don't remember where that one from. Oh wow. Um Gosh, now I'm looking at smart the smart cookie side, which is over here. <laughs> but yeah, we can. <laughs> oh, that's this is crazy. There's so there's so much here. There is so much. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. So if you, yeah, if, if you want to know a, a good deal in the cookie universe, a one year membership uh, to uh, to Artie McGoo gets you access to the next full year of new classes and all of these previous classes. So pretty incredible. It's a lot of cookies. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's a lot because you're the OG. You've been doing this since 14. That's a long time ago. Yeah. Can you believe it? Woohoo. Yay. Nice. Nice. So much. Yeah. Some of those older designs, man, some of them are still like, oh, man, I, that was so fun. Some, I, I wonder if I would do differently. Sometimes I wonder, I'm like, would I do things a little bit differently now that we have more tools and more, you know, more ways to do things? Uh, Nikki's well, super cheap and she does, she condones. She's, <laughs> thumbs up. We'll keep it. We'll keep it there then. <laughs> You guys are fantastic. I'm so glad you're part of Magoo U. I'm glad I'm part of Magoo U. And uh, that we get to chat every Monday. Yay. It makes me happy. Sometimes I feel like I'm in my own little cave here and I'm like, I'm just, but Mondays help me feel like, oh yeah, we're, we're all in this together. And we, it's like, we're, we get to decorate together. So I always just picture you guys whenever I film, I'm like, no, we're, we're all doing this together. We all decorate and go like, you know, what? Whoa. This is weird. This is crazy. I, I didn't think to do it this way. Or, you know, Artie's nuts and I'm going to do it a different way. <laughs> <That works. laughs> so, yeah, I can't wait to see your little paper doll boys in costume. It's, uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, so tune in next week for the first Costume Monday. We'll have a new 
set of cookies out for new tutorials. Um, Sage will be back and feeling better. She's sitting here, right here. Um, and we'll be, we'll both be in costume, some costume. We don't have any clue yet, but <laughs> it'll happen. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. Halloween's coming. Um, so, friends, have a delicious day. Have a delicious day.